morning. It is currently fig season and I am dying for a fig feed. So this morning, Harley and I are going to ride up Montecute Road and look for some figs with the donkeys. You know what's so sad? One year, you'll be eating these amazing, jammy, juicy, sweet figs. And the next year, you'll go back to that tree and it'll be cut down for some hideous housing development. They look like concrete jungles. It's just, it's so sad. We need more fruit trees. And these rednecks, just come along, cut them down. That's it. 10 year, 20 year, 30 year old fig trees. It's just, <laughs> so Harley and I have planted an orange tree in our yard and it's still small. I mean, it's very small, but it's really bushy and it's got 10 big oranges on it. So I'm really keen to see how those turn out, but I'll see you on Montecute. Oh, and if you want to be your leanest self, never train fasted. Faster training raises cortisol and a chronically high level of circulating cortisol increases fat storage. Look how lean I am. I'm so skinny. People say I'm anorexic every single day, but I eat as many carbs as I want every single day. So before leaving the house today, I downed this one litre cucumber, apple, celery, pineapple, spinach, and kale juice. I also had a few big handfuls of these Lifesavers blackcurrant pastilles. These are so good. They're gelatin free. Uh, because it is late in the morning, it is 10.30. I've had more fuel before leaving the house. But if we just got up and got on the bike at say 7, 8 a.m., then I wouldn't have had this much. I just would have had a handful of carbs and then bought cordial juice or sugar water on the bike. Oh, but I don't exercise in the morning. I don't exercise every morning either, but I still always have something sweet and juicy within five to 30 minutes of getting out of bed. So we maybe came up here a few days early because it's colder up the hill, the figs take longer to ripen. I got maybe 10 jammy figs today and uh, the sweetest ones were the ones that had been pecked by the birds. It's amazing with figs because usually when you cut fruit it oxidizes really quickly but the figs, they're bird pecked and you think oh this will probably be oxidized, rotten, full of maggots and fruit fly but once you open it it's fine and it's super sweet with fruit you never know what the circumstances are going to be there's one two three four five six seven maybe eight fig trees here yeah you know you might come up here with me oh yeah i'm gonna get a massive fee but eight fig trees <laughs> that's not always the case so you've got to be prepared or you're going to flounder around you're going to hinder your results because you'll be hungry and have something you're fatty hungry and then You'll be undercarved on the bike, very dangerous. Yeah. And then you'll make poor nutrition choices later in the day because you let yourself get famished because you weren't prepared. Preparation is everything. And, w and what would those poor nutrition choices look like, you reckon? What do people do? Uh, people go for burgers, donuts, you know, milkshakes, iced coffees, fatty, 
carby foods. So instead of them picking the low fat options because they want to get lean, they're just like, I don't care. Give me anything. I need to eat. I'm so hungry. I don't care. You know? Don't care if it's safe. It's fatty and greasy. Yeah, they'll eat something really fatty and greasy and then... Uh, and they'll never have a fire gap like that. No, and then they'll be feeling stodge. And yeah. uh, the cycle will just repeat itself. There's only... This is right. There's only two ways to get a thigh gap like that. One is to starve yourself, which we don't recommend because you go crazy. Two is to eat like Natasha. Easy. Simple.